Today I'm going to drain and flush the radiator to my 1931 Ford Model A. Then I'll refill it with Prestone 5050 premixed antifreeze. After I drain the old coolant, I'll add three gallons of white vinegar into the radiator and run it for a while. Then I'll drain the white vinegar and flush it out with water multiple times until the water comes out looking as clean as possible. Finally, I will add three gallons of ready to use 5050 Presto antifreeze coolant. I haven't done this before and it's long overdue. Although I've only driven it 150 miles, it is water and coolant sitting in a radiator. I've watched several videos on YouTube and it's a pretty easy thing to do. So let's get started. Let's open up the hood. Open up the radiator cap to release any pressure. It's a little bit low now, but not bad. I can see it beyond that little opening. My dad often drove this Model A in parades in Anacortes, Washington, and he would sometimes have problems with overheating. The best solution my dad found was to replace the three-bladed fan with this four-bladed fan. To drain it, you simply open up this valve. And there's a little runner pan here to let it go down into the bucket. I'll open the valve a little further. You can turn this valve either direction to open it up. So you gotta be careful. <laughs> Fully open when it's straight up and down. Looks clean from here. Turn off the valve. Now I'll pour in the vinegar, being careful not to spill it on the paint. Don't want it to overflow and get on the paint. Second one. Third gallon. Uh, it's sounding like it's getting full. All right, better check. Yep. It's more like uh, two and a half gallons. But once I run it and the pump starts moving it around there, I would bet it wants some more. So let's give that a try. Sorry, the buzz in the background is my neighbor pressure washing. But first I need to turn on the fuel valve so I can start her up. Second fuel valve under the hood, gravity fed fuel. Wait a minute or two, and then we'll crank her over. Now to start it up. Turn up the throttle a little bit to increase the idle speed. Retard the spark. Get ready to uh, pull the choke out. Okay, what have we got here? Oh yeah, well, one thing in there. Yeah, I can still reach it. Let's let it run a little longer. I'm gonna drive it around the neighborhood, get it warmed up.
running good. Retrieve my camera. <laughs> I drove a couple blocks. Let's see uh, how the radiator is doing. Make sure it's still full. Put my finger in there. Oh yeah, it's getting warm. Smells like vinegar. Want to heat up the radiator a little bit more so I can get a good clean drain on that vinegar. Anybody coming? I'm good. It's a pretty community up here in Dungeness Greens. about four miles through the community. Now I need to let the radiator cool down before I try to drain it. Don't want to burn myself. That was fun. What a beautiful day here in Squim. Mountains are peeking out with huge cumulus clouds above. I can't wait until the parade. Now I'm ready to drain the vinegar. sure my pan's lined up and it is I don't know if that's going to be hot to touch I'll tap on it and see what we got here no it's just warm here we go the vinegar looks really clear from here you know I don't know the history of the radiator and the engine as far as the cooling system and whether or not it's been rebuilt, but I suspect it has. It's a little bit rusty looking, kind of the color of tea, I would say, as it was on the other videos. Drain all the vinegar out. As you can see, it's yellowish. Kind of like a tea. So it definitely did its job. I'm going to dump this along the roadside to kill some weeds. All right, weeds. I've already put some Roundup on them, but they keep coming back, of course, as weeds will do. Now to flush the radiator out with water. Okay, go ahead. I'll need to do this several times and probably run the engine uh, with just water in it to get it really clean before I put in the coolant. Okay, off. All right, it's full. Open up the valve and drain the water. It looks clear from here, but 
First water flush is still pretty yellow. Signs of rust in there. It's exactly what you want to remove. And this time I see a little sheen of oil in there. That's not a good sign. Not sure what to make of it. Well, the second water flush is just about the same color as the first. I'm getting a little impatient with this, so I'm losing my light soon. The sun's about to set, so I'm just going to stick the hose in there and keep the drain open and see if I can clear it out. Definitely going to be washing it and waxing it before the parade. Don't have much time, though, to do that. Our water here is hard and it leaves marks. Yep, we're going overflow. Gotta slow the hose down a little bit. I'll continue without recording and get this done. It's now, in my opinion, clear enough to put in the coolant. The Prestone all vehicle, 10 year, 3,000 miles, ready to use. And it's green, just like what was in there before. Second gallon, half gallon more. We're done. Got to keep an eye on this one. Yep, I think it's there. Ready for the parade. squeaking there for a bit and I think the belts must have got a little damp from that overspill because it's gone away there's the squeak again let's check one more time if the radiator is full oh yeah full with new coolant we're good to go for the parade at least for the engine need to polish her up though